tips for managing your tag hierarchy for efficient document review. So I'm going to uh, jump over to uh, to ShareVault. I'm already logged into this Acme ShareVault, and uh, I've got all these different tags here. Uh, I'm going to actually clean up these two tags here, get rid of them. Uh, so you guys know how to add tags and delete tags and so on, but one of the hidden features in ShareVault is the ability to sort of rapidly add tags. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit new tag and you can see I can start typing tags. So I'll put in new tag and I hit return and it creates a new tag. Uh, but you might not know that I can hit tab to indent under that new tag and say new sub tag. And then I can just keep going. Sub, let's say another tag, sub tag and so on. Then I can hit shift tab and it out dents. Right, and I can do this, and then I can indent again, indent again. And so, as you can see, it's kind of a nice outliner. You can just type away and build yourself a tag hierarchy uh, interactively as you as you type. So uh, that makes it really quick and easy um, to enter tags. And then when you're done, you just hit return, and it creates all the tags that were uh, that you typed in while you were while you were doing this. So. Uh, and the, the numbering, of course, gets automatically applied. Uh, and then if there's something you want to rearrange, if you want to take this and outdent it, of course, you can use all the tools that you're already familiar with on, on how to do that. So that's a really quick way to create a hierarchy uh, sort of interactively as you type into ShareVault. Uh, but we've gone further than that. Um, actually, a lot of people tend to have uh, tags arranged in an Excel spreadsheet, you know, let's say it's an M&A transaction or some kind of a partnering transaction and you've gotten your law firm involved and they've done a lot of deals like this before and they have a suggested way in which they want you to organize your, uh, your, your documents. Well, first of all, a lot of times lawyers can be very verbose and they'll put in very large uh, paragraphs of information for each point in your index. And that doesn't really work well in a data room because in a data room, you kind of want these short tag names so it reads well. So what you can do is, let's say it says, for one of the tags, let's say it says, you know, publish the consolidated financials for each of the past four years, including blah, 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 a paragraph that explains a lot about what is supposed to be at a, a given location in the index. You could actually move that over to this column over here, which is basically your description. And then here you would just put the word consolidated financials, something nice and short and sweet that would work well in a due diligence um, for a data room. Keep the, that longer description over here and you'll see why in just a moment. Um, and then what you can do is select this whole hierarchical index and you see it's got indentations and different levels and so on. And uh, we'll select it all the way down to let's say here. And I'll just right click here and say copy. So I've just copied this hierarchy. And now I flip back over to ShareVault. And at the end here, I hit the add new tag. And I just hit, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and indent and put it under this. I'm going to hit paste. So instead of typing into this tag, I pasted it. And it recognized that I just copied and pasted a hierarchical structure. Uh, and it's confirming here that I do want to create these tags with these descriptions. That's so pretty slick, right? In just a couple seconds, I created all these tags. So I say create tags, and it's just created all these, uh, t this tag hierarchy down here under corporate documents. And uh, you'll recall that we had a description here, all agreements, contracts related to stocks, blah, blah, blah. That's under agreements related to company securities. So if I expand corporate documents and go to agreements related to to uh, company securities, put my mouse on it, you'll see that it's got that description uh, that's shown right there when I mouse over it. Um, and by the way, if I select the tag and go to description, that's that tag description. And if I want to edit it subsequently, I just double click on it and I can add anything I want uh, here, right? So you, these are editable even once they've been uploaded. Um, and then what's nice about that is they're also, uh, you can also put uh, documents, uh, you may not realize this, but you can actually put a description on an actual document. So I, I pick a document, I go down here to description, and I can actually hit edit, it puts this box here, and I can make this um, 
be any kind of description I want, and that description is actually searchable. Um, so, and, and it shows up, here's the description, apply, and you'll see that it shows right up on the document, okay? Uh, 